Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own Thieves Wood Polish Cleaner. So for this, you're going to need 8 ounces of sweet almond oil or almond oil. You're going to need 4 caps of our Thieves Household Cleaner. You're going to need 20 drops of orange essential oils. And then you're also going to need a spray bottle to put your mixture in. Um, this particular bottle is really awesome. You can get it at a beauty supply store or you can get it from Amazon and I can post the link below for this particular bottle. So what you're gonna do is first you're gonna add eight ounces of your sweet almond oil into your um, spray bottle. Now I've already made mine, so um, I'm just gonna walk you through the steps. Um, so this is a 16 ounce bottle, so about half of this bottle is what you're going to add into your spray bottle. Then you're going to take four capfuls of the Thieves Cleaner. And so the best thing to do is there is a little hole right here in the Thieves Cleaner when you very first open it. What you're going to want to do is just punch out that hole and it makes it easier when you're using the cap for measurement. So you'll just put pour it in there and then dump four into your bottle. Next, you're gonna add your 20 drops of orange oil. Orange is really good for wood, and so it works really great in the wood polish and it smells really amazing, you guys. So once you have all of that in there, you're gonna give it a really good shake. So what's gonna happen is over time when this sits, it will separate. So every time before you use it, you're going to want to give it a really, really, really good shake. Then with a normal cloth, and this one you can tell is dedicated to my oil, <laughs> to the wood polish. So you're going to shake it really, really good. And you're going to notice, so this spray bottle, when you spray it, you just pull it once and it kind of sprays like a normal wood polish would. Okay. So then you're gonna end up with this kind of um, milky looking substance. What you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of rub it in or wax on, okay? So you're gonna rub this in and you're gonna set, let it sit for about 10 minutes, okay? So you're just gonna really rub this in, use as much um, as your wood polish as you need. So we can add a little bit more. Um, you're just gonna rub it in I really like it because I feel like um, it helps with the appearance of the wood and you don't see the scratches as well as you normally would. Um, and it just gives a really nice shine and it cleans the table at the same time. So I love this polish and it's um, made with all natural ingredients. So you know exactly what's in the polish. Like I would totally feel comfortable having the boys um, come and use it and do whatever with the table. So, you're gonna let that set for 10 minutes. Okay, we don't have 10 minutes. <laughs> so what you're gonna do is then you're gonna take a mi microfiber cloth and basically wax off. <laughs> so you're just gonna kind of buff it is what you're gonna do. And you're gonna see that it leaves like kind of a nice little shine. It's gonna fill in some of the little scratches that may be on the table. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it's super easy to make, all natural, um, and I love it. I love it more than I love um, like a pledge or anything like that because I know what's in it. So super easy, you guys. Um, so go try it. 